Good morning, campers, and welcome back to the Cut the Camera podcast. It's your boy. <laughs> Isn't that Nick's, an old line? Yeah. Nick <laughs> Cerniolo. It is Matt Cerniolo. And I'm Chris. Chris. That was, little, that was faster than last it's time. It's Chris. Chris. Chris is a crazy nickname. Chris has negative Riz. That's the most insane thing I've ever heard. I, hate, in my life. I don't like the Riz trend. It's not a trend, bro. It's a lifestyle. No, because Riz came about, but it was never here. I heard it's short for charisma, but I don't believe that. That's kind of hard. <laughs> that is if it hard. is, I like it more than I do. Like, charisma right is a great word. I, you have a lot of charisma. That's what RuPaul rates them on, or like that's like part of his criteria in judging. That's good. I charisma, feel like you, like, uniqueness, you nerve, reach and talent. back to everything about RuPaul. I like too much for. Too much, like more RuPaul than like the is normal. Ninety percent of what I think about, and RuPaul's drag no, I know. Race. So it's like obviously I'm gonna refer back, but like every day, it's the same way I can refer to anything to how Music it would be lyric. better if I had a ice cold Pepsi. I don't think it's, I, the it's same. not the same. Yours is more on an addictive level. Yeah, I can forget about RuPaul. This is Drag Race. If I have to, you know what I mean. Like I don't have to bring up RuPaul in every scenario. Yeah, Chris needs All a right, Pepsi. Let's stop talking. Let's get. To the business here. Yeah. Uh, That's I crazy. I hated that. That was scary. That's crazy. Do you think you're all cool with like the pink and pink or no? No, but I do feel really cool in my Let's Trip merch. Oh. Let's go. Five million subscribers. Very nice. Who would have ever thought? I wouldn't. I would. I Who would have thought this. we would have ever gone on tour? Uh, uh, not, not me. me. And that leads us into, I'm like dripping this everywhere. Because the straw. Is it really? Uh. Do you want to take it from me? No. Anyway, today's episode is about, I wish we had napkins. Just napkins come on, dude. It. Yeah. Today's like, episode is about. That looks so unesthetic. Move that. Just put it back in the cup. You're crazy. You're crazy. Okay, today's, today's episode of the Cut the Camera podcast, we're going to be talking about tour because we announced that we're going on a second one. So we want to recap with you guys about our first one. And then also, I think by the time this episode comes out, tickets will already be for sale. And if they're not, they will be very soon. Very so, soon. Yep. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But actually, if they're not yet, they're going to be. And if they are, they still are for sale. You know what I mm-hmm. mean? Yep. So. Yep. Purchase them. Unless but, they sold out. But like last tour, the VIP tickets did go really fast. So if you want those, get those as soon as possible. But anyways, yes. that's today's uh, podcast topic. First thing we're going to talk about stage fright. Chris, how did you feel about like when you first found out we were going to go on a tour? What was your thought process? Because like I know we all, we don't all have like stage fright, but like it's just a nerve wreck, racking, nerve wrecking, nerve, uh, nerve, I don't know. It's like a really like nerve inducing task. Yeah. Um. Honestly, like I think what, like I thought about all the times I've been on stage before in my life. And it was like in school, like when I had school mm. stuff to mm. do, like performances. I was gonna say, was gonna say the, the first time before our tour and like our Houston show, uh, the first time I was on stage before all that was like the middle school talent show that I pogo stick at. Yeah, the, the scarier thing is, is like when you're in like a school setting on a stage, you they're gonna just pretend to care. Yeah. But like when you when it's people like nobody bought to tickets see you. to go there. For... Yeah, like when people are actually going to see you and support you, there's way more pressure. I agree. Very, very scary. I agree. But like I think our good like we did a Houston show a while ago. Um and it was a lot of fun. It was just like our very first show and it was a Q and A panel we did. Yeah. With Maddie and Elmer as well. Mm-hmm. And it was good. It was fun, and I think that prepped us really well for our um. That def that definitely prepped us for our tour because that one wasn't like under our name. Like, yes, we were the headline of that event, but it wasn't like our show. Yeah, yeah. So it was like very um. You're not letting anyone down if you fuck up. Well, yes, you are, but it was crazy though because I whenever I talk to people about like how tour was and stuff. I always talk to them about like, oh, like I've never been to a concert in my life other than our own. other than our own concert. Yeah. It's like I've never ever ever in my life been to like some sort of musical event or some sort of like live event in a mosh pit or like in a crowd. Like that's I've never done that in yeah. my life until Summer Smash. No, until our tour. Oh. Now yet again, I've Summer also Smash. never been like someone's like, Oh, is that your first festival? And it's like, Yes, but I still really didn't experience a festival because I was backstage. 
know what I mean? Well, yeah, every the single day, thing. The first day we experienced the festival. Yeah, that was fun. That was crazy. That was a lot of fun. But it's crazy that, like, the I've never really experienced, like, being in a crowd. I've only been on the stage. Like, that's weird to I me. I could never mosh. Like, even if I wasn't... <laughs> <laughs> That's just <laughs> such a funny word. Like, <laughs> mosh. You just I laughed. could never mosh. You just laughed way too hard at that. I just think, like, that's goofy. It is kind of Like, goofy. not in, no, nothing against you, because the word's the word. But, like, come on. Mosh. Yeah, I wouldn't have said it It's like me. mosh potatoes. I was thinking that. I just don't want to sound crazy. <laughs> I literally thought that. But I was like, no, they'll make you guys really are insane. Of me. You guys are insane. But I couldn't mosh either, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I could not be in, like... Like I love music so much, but even if like I'm around a million people, that, see, like, the I same could. Art, if I'm hydrated not, enough, I could, could go. You could not. Yes, I could. You no, could you really you were couldn't. You're the last person on planet Earth that could actually be in like the no, center of a No, it's actually such like a dangerous, scary thing. Yeah, like, I could All right, not. Let's go to the next thing. You would hate I it. I know you. But would no, hate stage it. fright. Honestly, by the time you're like. People always think you're going to be all scared when you're on the stage. Once I'm on the stage for like a minute, I'm good. I'll say the only thing that stays consistent is my mouth is dry. Yes. Dry. Very dry. Like, I no, need going, water the whole time. Going out is literally the worst part. Yeah. Other, once like, you're the out, build-up to but walking also, like, onto the stage. But also, like, we don't sing. Like, I don't have a performance to put on. So, like, when people are screaming and yelling, like, usually that works real well if, like, a song's about to play mm-hmm. and, like, someone's going to, like, rap or sing for you. But, like, when they like, people are, like, ah, screaming, yelling, and excited for you to get on the stage, and then you're, like, you get on the stage, and it's, like, you're answering questions No, I always say that. Yeah. Like, whenever someone's, like, like, whenever we're, like, building up, like, I'm about to burp again. That's cr- like this is crazy. Oh, it's crazy. Shut up, stupid. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> what's it called? Wow. When the going on to stage, like if we had like when a going s- on to stage, go ahead. Yo, leave him alone. How else would you say it? Normal. When going cur- on to stage? When going on to the stage. On to the stage. Okay, there you Matt go. Lark. Perfect. Quiet Coyote. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. That was like a corny thing for a while. I shouldn't have revived it. But go ahead. Anyway, when going on to the stage. Like, rappers go out to a song, you know what I mean? They play the song, and they go out screaming the lyrics already. Yeah. Everyone's, like, excited. Yeah. But for us, like, the people just yell, and then we walk out slowly. And, and I feel, like, like hey. all goofy. It's like that meme. Like, you know the meme? It's like, hey. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> like, that's how I feel in my head. Do you know who you remind me of right now with your hair and, like, that sweater? I don't want to know, <laughs> You actually. look like... I feel like I really don't need to know. You look like the hamster in Kim Possible. Is there a hamster in that show? I, I was going to say... Or some type of, like, gerbil I feel like I just look thing. like the brother. No. I was going to say Howie from Benchwarmers. I love him. That's yeah. such a good compliment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's scary. But anyways, what was I going to say? Yeah, stage fright. I'd say, like, the number one thing about stage fright is, like, one, getting onto the stage is the most difficult. And then my mouth is dry, like, the whole time. Yeah. Yes. And Speaking I always of, like, our that's mouth being dry, it's so... <laughs> what? <laughs> it's so funny, bro, because I remember, like, like, whenever I would take selfies with these fans... They would post it and then be like, Chris's lips are so uh, chapped. Uh, like, look how dirty it's like, this give kid me, I don't looks. have a brief pause. And it's like, there, dude, was a, there was a TikTok edit fully of Matt needs chapstick. Like, there, it was a full But it's thing. like, bro, when you... And, I, and I, I knew I needed chapstick, but it's like, we had 15 I'm, shows you're talking to, like, when you have, like, um, like, when you talk to somebody and then the next person, and the next person, and the next person, and you're taking photos, you're greeting people all day. You have to talk on stage. Like, I talk I the most of my whole t- life I love talking. on the stage. Yeah. I love talking to all these fans, but I, I, I'm going to need my water and chapstick. And, like, but climate, you don't have- like, different climates mm-hmm. and, like, fucking, like, different weathers inside, outside, inside, outside, hotel, yeah, bathroom. Yeah, like, everything's like, dry. Everything is just, like, you're in my so face. many different environments. You're, you're, you never stop talking. Yeah. Like, bro, we were taking mints, like, left and right. Like, yeah. that was one of our biggest requests. Like, at our meet and greet tables, I remember I'm gonna start we used to have Jolly all the little ranchers. mints. I feel like they'd help me a lot. Ooh, Jolly that does ranchers. sound good. Yeah, but then I'm going to have, like, nasty blue and purple mouth for, That's like, true. Yeah. the photos. Just do the watermelon ones. No, because then Cause it looks like, like pink. you got, like, big It's pink. Puffy, it just like, looks like big, like, allergic reaction. It's like lipstick. <laughs> okay, so <but> anyway. <laughs> no, like, chapstick was for real. Like, my lips were chap. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Like, bad. What a sin. It was really bad. That's, like, so embarrassing, like, being called out for eating... Chapstick. Dude, yeah. I got called out after like I use chapstick a lot, so I don't the St. Louis show. Yeah. Or Detroit. That was the same show that a mom tried to pick me up. I know. That was that so wouldn't leave me alone. Wouldn't that leave me alone. It was so funny. No, I was actually a little afraid. It yeah. was hilarious. Like it was just creepy. Yeah. Like she was trying to carry me and I said no, I think five times. And she just kept trying to I pick actually, me up. She's like, Nick, come on, let me pick you up. And you were like, 
No, I actually love having both and of I'm my not feet like on the ground. Pick up a bull size. Like I'm a big fella, you know what I mean? <laughs> so for her to say, like, oh, let me pick you up, it's I'm like, like yeah, it's a, little, it's a little crazy. Who are you, John Cena? Like, like, that was it was wild. She she made it very clear that her daughter was the fan and she just watched our videos like while her daughter did. And she and was it's trying like, to pick me up. But like what's the gain there? Like once I'm in the air and in your arms, what are we doing? And it's next? funny because she didn't want like a like a pitcher or the, it, she wanted to pick me up. That's all she One wanted. Thing, she no, want I hate to say it captured. because it's like I don't know what goes on when I'm not around. But I don't like when parents take the kids shine. Like yeah. when they're meeting us. Because there was a lot of the times where I would meet the kid and then the parent would be like Oh my God! Take a photo, take it, and it's like the kid. Like I, I was gonna. Anyway. I can just see the no. kid be like, "Mom, can no, you shut it's up." Yeah. Like, well, sometimes like the ki kids are too nervous. No, to I get up. being nervous, but the thing is, like, even if the kid was talkative, I feel like the parent won't stop talking. It's like I, I pay most of my attention to the girl that I know I'm impacting, that I know watches <laughs> all our videos, <laughs> but then the mom's always like. I don't know if she's doing too much. Yeah, I feel like it's just like they really want their kid to have a good experience. Yeah, yeah. So, but it's just like overkill. Like you're kind of ruining what was going to be a natural good experience. No, I agree. Oh, I disagree. With it's this. not ruining. It's just like putting a hazard in the way of. No, it's like how I look at it is like if we have like a meet and greet and I have like 15 seconds to meet like your kid, don't waste the don't 15 seconds. Talk to me for 15 seconds, then your daughter is like all upset that we didn't talk to her. You know what I mean? But I also feel bad because, like, I know a lot of another one of the number one things was like the how like time limited meet and greets and small talks and stuff were. But like, I did the math because I was like, I knew we were gonna talk about it today. But say, like, we met on average about like four hundred to five hundred fans at each show. Yeah, Money. which is gonna get bigger next time around. Love them. Don't know if that's true. It is true. Our, but it was such a great amount. That amount was money. No, but the thing is, if if we talk to every single fan for a minute. That's 500 minutes, which is about eight and a half hours. See? Eight and a half hours. It's like, I have to eat. I need to sleep. I need to shit. And I need to piss. I love meeting you fans. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. I love meeting fans so much. Love it. Mm -hmm. But I, my body loves to piss and shit as well. Yeah. No, it just gets hard because, like, a lot of the times at meet and greets, like, I feel so bad, like, when it's, like, because realistically... It's just like it moves so fast, but yet again, I think that's part of the experience. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. But it's such a, it's really like meet and greets and like just seeing like tour was beautiful to me because like just seeing all our fans in real life and all our yeah, supporters, yeah. But like lo and behold, right in front of my eyes, uh, like yeah. it was such a great, great, great experience that yeah. I'll never forget. But also with time limits, the reason it was so crazy and weird is because of the fact that like. Some fans, literally all their body has the capacity to do is meet you and walk away. Like, they can't be near you for more than five seconds. Some get so really nervous. I always feel that, bad. Like, that, like, oh, I the, feel so I actually horrible. wanted to say something about this. I was, I was going to say something about this. With, with this second tour going into motion and stuff like that, we're going to obviously be doing, like, I think around the same or more meet and greets this time. And we're going to have uh, lots of different fans on the stage at each show. And I want to make it very clear that, yes, me, Nick, and Chris are these YouTubers and we have all these subscribers and numbers and whatnot, but, like, we're all human beings. It's going to be, like, basically just, like, a big hangout with everyone. So it's, like, if you're on the stage, there's no need to no need to be nervous. We're not going to make like, any backflips or anything. Like, for me, for example, like, if I went to, like, a show of, like, that was our show and I was, like, in the crowd. In the crowd. I would hate to go on to stage. I would, I I would Like, never I would never I volunteer to go on stage. So when, when you, if you go to our shows upcoming and you want to be on the stage, then you raise can, your hand. You have a good opportunity you a, of being on chance. it. But if you are, like, scared to come to one of our shows because you don't want to be, like, dragged on the stage. No or, one's like, going to be done. We're not, we're not going to be. Feel bad if you don't raise your hand when we say who wants to come on the like, stage. Like, if your deciding factor is... Like, oh, I'm not going to their show because I don't want to get picked to go on stage. It's not like that. Like, we yeah. only pick like, people. If you just want to go and enjoy I would never watching, do that. Yeah. I would never yeah. put myself in But a then also, like if that. you raise your hand and then you go on the stage and you're like, I need to get the fuck off, do your thing. Mm -hmm. Do your I will thing. help you get uh, get down. Yeah, we're do very open over here at the Stereo yes. Triplet World. No need to stress. Now, let's talk about, since we're talking about it, let's talk about crowd behavior. Mm -hmm. Crowd behavior. And like, okay. do's and don'ts of being in a crowd. If somebody because gets of picked, safety. If, some, if you're trying to get picked in the crowd and I see you punching, kicking, yelling at a person next to you because you're trying to get a chance to get on the stage, I'm not picking you. One of my, like, like biggest takeaways out of, like, like, deep sadness from the whole tour was when we were in Texas and the girl 
Chris juggled oranges and threw them into the crowd, and this girl got one of the oranges, and someone stole her bag, her merch, and her poster. Like, come on. Yeah, then I gave her the shirt off my body, though. I remember. Yeah, no, we definitely, we definitely, like, she had told someone, so we had met her, and then signed Yeah, we stuff. met her, signed stuff, but it's free like, merch. She it's got like, the to be in such a positive environment and thievery someone else, like, like steals crazy. someone's belongings, like, you're... Crazy. Yeah, I don't You're like me. I don't like don't be a meanie. Bro. Don't be a meanie. Yeah. We're all trying to have a good, fun experience. Yeah. You know? That that was something that really bothered me. Mm-hmm. But I was I survived. Yeah. yeah. So did that girl. I feel like, dude, the crowd is always so much fun. Like I, I, our shows, like I don't think that it's gonna be as energetic as they are because for me, I feel like, like I'm a very mellow, calm person. Like when there's a lot of people around, because I get nervous that there's like a lot of things going on. You know what I mean? In big crowds, I'm always scared to stick out. But then I forget that it's like our like our purpose is to get on the stage and have fun with everybody. It's gonna be, I do have so I'm much fun, so but excited I am for like this next I'm one. always just afraid of like falling Dude, or doing I, something goofy. I am, I'm not scared. Like when I hit the stage, I'm not scared at all. Like yeah. I I get very see, excited. I'm usually not, but eighty percent of my comedy is swearing, and I see like I see like teenagers and younger girls, and I just like I can't bring myself to say a bad word. Yeah, <laughs> to say a bad word. I is really crazy. can't. It's I, true. I'm just like, oh, I'm act- I'm so dude. This like just talking so about this shit makes me want to go. Like I wish yeah. I could pack my bags and leave right now. I mm. could not. I could. I'm just always like, ah. yeah. You need to take it like no, one step you at a like time. The, but Nick like, lets like the bus life and travel affect him too much. Yeah. I just get overwhelmed way too yeah. easily. I love being overwhelmed. It's honestly the crazy part what? about it. People are like. Actually, parents went up to us at, at shows, or went up to me at least. I don't know, but I'm not going to speak for y'all. But they were like, you tired to take your pictures yet? And I was like, no, I'm not. The shit that's more exhausting when on tour is like the tr- like the behind the scenes shit. Imagine Nothing- if you said yes, though. Yeah, like, like why would a parent on. ask you that question while you're meeting their daughter? Yeah, I'm. Yeah, are you I'm exhausted, exhausted and tired of like, taking photos with fans yet? It's like, yes. Tell your daughter to leave. Imagine. Yeah, it's like who's parents gonna- are sometimes goofy. I hate but, like, to say it. But I like the more stressful part about all the like the tour shit is like the the driving, the eating. Bro, one of the cool, that like, shit. dude, I I don't know. I love thinking of like just the the cool shit at um. What are you doing? You're like throwing me off. I'm just like thinking of the the a song. Watch me dance, dance the night away. Go ahead, Chris. Next, I forgot what I was gonna say because this hooligan started dancing. That was no I don't know. I'm very yours. excited to go on tour. I just want to win and beat y'all oh another thing i want to say if someone throws a phone at me like you're not getting your phone back ever i'm dude you heard it here first that shit's ridiculous throwing like throwing crazy objects like nah. no heavy objects yeah at no stage. oh i no. love when people throw like little bracelets and i can like yes. pick one up but if you throw a brick i'm throwing the brick right back at your head my <laughs> god imagine no nah, it's just like throwing in general let's not throw what was i gonna say let's hand I was going to yes. say something, but I forget. I don't know. Boy, like, I can't read minds. Um, boy. Oh, we should explain what we're going to do on this next tour to them. Okay. Oh, uh, in full detail? Wait, hold on. Not full detail. Yeah, Watch yeah, let's me. do it. Okay, so basically, let's like, full detail? Dance the not night full detail. Nick, Nick, shut Nick, the yeah, fuck I'm going to fucking kill idiot. you. It's not karaoke night, idiot. Shut up. Go ahead. Who, like, ask me a question, because I'm disoriented now. What are we going to do on the next tour? Okay, yeah, that's what we were talking about. Um... Don't, stop looking at me like I'm a hooligan. I forgot. Kid, you're stop to, saying stop hooligan so much. Stop forgetting. Like, remember. Well, stop dancing like an I'm idiot. I'm not dancing. Just remember. Anyway, this next tour, me, Matt, and Nick decided that it's just going to be us three, and we're going to duel to the ultimate showdown. We're going to fight. Oh, wow. Basically, what's going to happen, right, is me, Matt, and Nick are each going to be a team. I'm the orange team, the deers. Nick is the purple bats, and Matt is the blue Whoa. sharks. And basically, we're going to go to each venue. And we're gonna have a series of mini. You need games to ramp it up. I'm like bored. We're gonna have a you. series of games and mini games, and like crowd is gonna be involved. You guys are gonna be coming up on stage. We're gonna do all these little mini games. I'm gonna have a teammate, maybe Matt might have a teammate. Nick might have a teammate. Yeah. And we're gonna just do like team showdowns with my team, Matt's team, and Nick's team. And if y'all wanna be on my team, you gotta have orange on in the crowd. Yeah, I'm not taking a single person into the onto my team on stage if they're not wearing like purple or like black or gray or like dressed up as a bat you know what i mean like you got to be something of repping my team yes. to come on the stage as simple as I'm a gonna purple pick, wristband I'm gonna pick simple one of as a purple teammates. wristband like anything purple you can come i'm yep. gonna pick one stage. of y'all's and if teammates. you don't got anything purple and you're gonna complain like i'm gonna like, go on stage but nick's making it so difficult because i need something purple get a purple marker and hold and it dry on your hand <laughs> or bring the purple marker and hold the marker i need any sort of significance i know you can attain something purple let's not be crazy yeah matt 
Yep. What is you actually have to be wearing a full blown shark inflatable to come on the stage with me? That's crazy. No, I'm that joking. Is crazy. I'm joking. That's I'm like joking. security I'm joking. reasons. But I'm basically, joking. we're gonna do all these like little mini games, and then each venue, someone's gonna have the most points. So, say like the first show, I get like ten points. Matt gets three, and Nick gets five. Then Matt came in last. I came in first, so I get a medal, and then like. You win I get that a point venue. for that venue, and then the next venue I get one point. Like I'm going into that venue one zero zero. Like that's the score. And then say we have like ten shows. I think it might be a little more 15, than that. I think. I think it's fifteen. It's or like 14. fifteen, fourteen. But something. like the basically is the best out of fourteen. Like whoever has the most points after all the venue, after all the venues and shows. Yeah, and we pretty win. much thought of everything. Like what games we're gonna play. What tiebreaker rounds we're gonna have to go into? What team? What games we're gonna play with fans and stuff? But like, obviously, we have to set all of that in stone way before the tour so that we can have planned. But if you guys have some ideas, like it's never too late to add something. Yeah, like we could like, fix but, like, it. Like, only stage. if you have good ideas. I don't want to hear some crazy shit. Okay. Like most cartwheels in a row. Yeah. Like no, no, we no. got limited space and limited time. You wanna know what I was thinking? That's crazy. What? Matt, why don't you tell the viewers what's the meaning of let's trip? Because it's wild that a lot of people don't know what it means still. Okay, so the let's trip is for, it's two things. One, it's the tour name and it's the clothing brand name. And we were in a our first ever merch meeting, I think like how long ago? Like a year and a half. Maybe? Something wild. So like a year and a half ago, and we were like coming up with all of these different brand names that could be our merch because we didn't want to just put Sterniolo on the hoodies, even though you guys do like the Sterniolo stuff. But I'm so sorry. Can I have a sip of that drink? That's what you were asking for. Yeah, I need it. I'm I will sorry. you get your own next time. I will. Is, I think the third podcast. Sorry, in just going you're doing that. But Let's Trip is triplets, but you take the first half and put it on the end. So it's let's trip, 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 let's. And basically, I think it's like the it, best idea it just came about had. because like we we're always in the minivan. We always went to Boston, to LA, to Vermont. We're always to tripping Florida. around. Like we're but always. We were also super inspired by like simple brand names. You know what yeah. I mean? Like when we were looking at like references and stuff, I just feel like it was super fun to be like, oh, let's trip. Like it's an action. It's a fun little thing. Yeah. Like, the only thing that held us back was like the loose ties to like drug relation. But honestly, of, like, we doing drugs, care. but like because like we so forcefully went the route of like travel, like with van and minivans on the on the shirts, with like like locations on the shirts, scenery, like it was so obvious. It was like, and I feel like it's such it's such travel. a good it's such a good brand for us because it's like it can't it's not only I like, bleed and cry and sweat. Let's trip. Me too. I got it on right now. Yeah, it's wonderful. I would never say all that, but I do love I it. What I love about that shirt? What? That shirt, that van has the Let's Trip license plate, and that, and is, that a, is a shirt. I love that, actually. It's yeah. so, like, ooh, because it's, like, the zoomed in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's the Massachusetts plate. Yeah. It's okay, real. we're going to move on to the next one. America. We're going to talk about staying at all the different states. What was your favorite state to stay at, Matt? Favorite place to stay at? State. State. I got mine. Um, I, I have to say Chicago, but be, we were in Chicago the longest out of everything. Oh, is that true? Yeah. It was Chicago was one of the only days. states that we had an off day. I think we were in Chicago for three days. Wow. Chicago was a lot of fun. I was Chicago about to say that. Chicago was so much Chicago. fun. There were so many states where we were in for literally, like, only the night. Yeah. Like, when we were in a random hotel parking lot in Kansas for, like, 24 hours. I thought hours. you were about to say a random, like, that was the name of the state. Like, we were yeah. in a random... And I was like, thank you where that is. We'll just think a little bit. Or let me well, finish. Well, it is crazy. Some states we didn't even spend the night at. Like, I remember, I'm pretty sure there was, like, one or two states where, like, say the show in Oklahoma was at, like, in the morning, whatever. We would drive in. Oh, no. We did. We would always spend the night. Am no. I stupid? Well, sometimes we just would spend the night somewhere, like, on the way and then drive, like, three hours and then when we wake up. Yeah. Like, I remember one time, I forget what state we were in, but, like, where's Kansas City? Missouri. Yeah. But it's near Kansas. You know what I mean? Like, it's on the lines. Is Kansas a state? I don't want to sound stupid. Yes. Nick, yeah. It's so where Dorothy's from. You sound yeah, more yeah, stupid yeah, yeah, asking yeah. if Kansas so is a state. So there's Kansas, like, the state. And then there's Kansas City in Missouri. And we didn't actually have a show in Kansas itself. But when we were driving to Kansas City, we slept in Kansas and then drove to Kansas City in the morning mm-hmm. of the Kansas City show. Yeah. So there were some states that we didn't spend the night in, but we had a show in, but we slept on the other side of the border. that one gross-ass chocolate shop in Kansas City. Oh, Do you remember it? God, it smelt 
awful. It was so nasty. But it, the chocolate was good, though. I didn't have any. I bought fudge, and I had fudge the whole Didn't you tour. buy the fudge at Bucky's? Yes. Uh, we perfectly found another fudge shop right in time of when I ran out of fudge. <laughs> so it was amazing. We were in Texas, like, on my first batch. It lasted me to Kansas. And then Kansas City, I got another thing of fudge. It lasted me till Boston. Dude, I used to always make those jokes and stuff. Like, like, I had fudge the whole tour. Like, I would buy Little Bites in, like, fucking wherever we were. Like, and Arizona. Like, First Little Bites. And, and then I would eat the Little Bites, like, all the way in Ohio. And I was like, these Little Bites came a long way. They were Like, all such the- a stupid joke. It's not stupid. It's, like, the truth. Like, these Little Bites have been with us for states, for miles. I also loved going to the Cracker Barrel in Arizona. Call me what you want. Call me white, call me Betty, I don't care. The Betty. Cracker Barrel was so good. Yeah, it was delicious. I had a pop high. Also, what's crazy, one of the f- restaurants I remember most after eating so many fun new different things was just Olive Garden. Like, I, I don't love recall Rue eating Olive that Garden. at all. We got it to go. It was so good. The Texas it, Roadhouse was Oh, no, we didn't get delicious. it to go. We went we in. ate in the Olive Garden. And no, it which one? Good. Where? What it state? Good, I don't know good, good. What good. state? Good. Stop banging the table. What state were we at? Holy I don't shit. know. I don't remember. It was like and close I don't to the end. Even it was even close going to the end. It was close to the end because it was cold. I remember everyone was dressed for the cold. But it was cold. Good. It was cold. I don't okay. remember that at all, um, bro. Bunk life. What are your thoughts on sleeping in a bunk? If you guys don't know, bunks are about six and a half feet this way and then two and a half feet this Not way. Not even, bro. So you can't sit up and like if you're six feet tall, you're kind of cramped. I loved my bunk, honestly. I was just really scared. Because, like, sometimes I'd wake up and I'd be like, oh, I'd feel claustrophobic. And then I'd just have to See, get up I and stand up. See, I never felt claustrophobic because I could just... Claustrophobic. You always yell at You're just You're claustrophobic. Always... You're lacking claustrophobic. letters. Claustrophobic. Okay. <laughs> it's how you say the Go word. Ahead. Here's my thing. Did you get... Do you know what I'm talking about? Go ahead. You, did Chris, I get the shut point up, across? Matt, speak. The thing that... Why did you what? sniff <laughs> the mic? <laughs> that's that's crazy. crazy. Okay, Matt. The weirdest thing for me about sleeping on the bunk... Uh, um, speed, 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 speed. I'd, I'd fully get there. The weirdest thing about sleeping on the bunk for me is, like, when I roll, I roll over a lot of my sleep. Like, I'll start on my right, switch to my left, start on my right, switch to my left, like that. And I always feel like I'm going to roll off of the bunk. I just slept like I was in a coffin. Yeah, like, weird. I remember crazy. Just, You're I was insane. living out my Dracula The worst part was not being able to sit all the way up. Yeah, because if I could sit in there and edit, sit in there and read, uh, what? I don't read. (laughs) Like, I meant write. Like, I like to write words and then never read them again. Do you do that? Yeah, I do. (laughs) Well, um, I write a lot and then I do go back and read it, but there's some that I I write and I'm like, I will never look back at this The most difficult part about bunk life for me is the fact that everyone's bunks are so near each other and I have to sleep in underwear to fall asleep. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. So I was just peeking on my I was just sleeping sure was in my underwear, but I was, like, you know how we had, like, the little nets? Yeah. I had, like, a pair of shorts in that net at all times, so if I had to get up, I'd just put the shorts on. Yeah. I would wake up, and my, the, all my clothes to... would be on the floor, and then I'd yeah, have to Chris ask somebody. Yeah, Chris shit out of his bunk every, every day. Time. Like, I would just wake up, and I wouldn't even, my blankets on the floor, my pillows on the floor, like, it was oh, just bro, me y'all, I don't bunk. know who on the bunk had, like, eight pairs of shoes. Every single time I go to put my shoes under the bunk. Yeah, I'm bringing way less shoes I'm this bringing time. probably oh. two pairs of shoes, maybe. I'm bringing, like... Okay, relax. No, because I yelling. just remember having to fucking put my shoes in my bunk. Because... I'm going to bring, like, one... I remember I brought a pair of... Watch my... me. Dang. I brought a pair of Jordan 4s, and away. I didn't wear them one time. Like, I just brought them for the fun. Yeah, I brought big black boots I only wore once. Yeah. See, but my dumbass brought two, three pairs of shoes. All of them were platforms, and two of them the were boots. The tour people were like, oh, you're going to want Crocs to shower on the bus because you don't want to be Didn't like, do it once. Didn't ever. I literally left the Crocs in a hotel in the hotel in Chicago just to, like, have extra space. No, you threw them in the crowd. Yeah. You Did s- I? Yeah, you yes. signed them and threw them in the crowd. My, the Crocs. Yes. The yellow Crocs. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna need to see TikToks of who's got the yellow crocs there. It was in I Dallas, Texas, I think. I don't remember actually. I don't believe you. He might have left him in the hotel. I think that was an idea I had, but then I already left him in the hotel. Okay, I don't know. Said. We're gonna move on. Um, everything in the Midwest is haunted. If you haven't been or hey, wait, if you live Midwest, there. Midwest, mid. You wrote this note sheet. I don't think it's Midwest. I think it's just the South. Like, oh wait, no, it is Midwest. I don't, I don't, I don't know, but a lot of the things down low got some bad. <laughs> vibes. No, we had a lot scary of scary vibes. We We're had a lot of haunted stories. It's story time we just sound like a bowser boss we level. should do um we should have transitions like with like a screen that pops okay up. we should no. do um the one that they already kind of know the hotel in texas i disagree we're gonna move forward we are going to go all the way to 
St. Louis. St. Louis was the craziest story ever. This was insane. I'm going to try and tell the okay, story for, fast. No, 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 no. Hold on. He, I have what? To, I have to say a disclaimer. First things first, all y'all, Matt's lying. Matt's exaggerating for the story. One, I don't lie. Two, I don't exaggerate to make good stories. If it's a good story, I'll I tell do. it. If I, if I don't think it's a good story, I won't say it. No, Go this ahead. is actually the craziest shit ever. Okay, so me and Chris were doing a meet and greet, and obviously Matt was too, but Matt had to use the bathroom. So they held the meet and greet line. And this guy who... No, it was before to even start this. It was That's what I'm saying. No, no, like, me we were, and, Shut me up. No. no. You don't, Nick, you're, you're saying it wrong. We so were about to start, start meet and greets. No, 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 no. Okay, well, you didn't say Matt that. Matt was in the bathroom, and we were getting ready to start meet and greets. Okay, yeah. Gotcha. But, what no, but the, the, venue was, the venue was really small, and they had all of our supporters, like, line up around the staircases, and, like, it was just really crammed. So we couldn't all three travel up the stairs at one time safely. So we had our security guard. No, wait, you're wrong. I know what it no, was. No, it was only. No, you're right. But the the reason, usually at the period of time in which me and Chris were waiting for the meet and greet to start, is usually we can go eat, but they couldn't get us to the room to go eat. So instead of having a break to eat, we just used the bathroom and we were talking to the people from the venue. And for then like Matt got minutes. like stuck downstairs. So I don't think we though. ate that day. Which Matt is got fine. stuck downstairs. He was in the bathroom on the third floor. No, he wasn't. You went down. Third floor. You went downstairs. Third floor. When me and Nick were alone, I was downstairs. Thank was, you. How? Because he Nick, got listen, stuck down listen, there because all the no, supporters stop, stop, on the stairs. Stop, stop, Nick, you're thinking of when it, it was after. Yes. Okay, the third floor. I'm going to restart. Basically, the meet and greet had not started can we, yet. Can I say this no. a little bit better? No. No, I'm no, saying it better. No, no, Nick, no. You're saying it wrong. No, you're saying it wrong. You're actually you're saying it wrong. Give me one more chance. No, no, no. One more chance. Nick, I'm walking out of the podcast if you don't stop. It's very. So. Okay, so venue layout is very important for this story. So there's our green rooms on the bottom floor. Second floor is stage and, like, the bar and all that stuff. And then third floor, there's, like, a... You need to speak louder or something. You need to calm the fuck down. Third I need, floor, like, engagement. Third floor, third, floor, third, floor, third floor is the where the meet and greet was, a bathroom at the other end of, like, the bar. And then there was, like, a little balcony where you could watch the stage from above. So we did the meet and greets on the third floor, stage and all that stuff on the second, green room on the bottom. So I'm at the green room on the bottom. At right the when bottom. we got there, right when we walked in, the dude working there was like, y'all don't use the bathroom upstairs. Like, he said, don't use the bathroom we, on the we, third I thought floor. He was it's haunted. And we were like, okay, yeah, all right, buddy. So I'm in the green room. The guy was a little loopy. Uh, Nick, he was. You're like, loopy. He was nice, okay, Nick, but it stop. Was giving, Nick, like, stop. Nick, stop. Nick, stop. You... Nick, stop. Go, Matt. Okay, so I'm in the green room on the f- on the first floor, and Nick and Chris are all the way on the third floor getting ready to do the meet and greets because I I think I was using I think I was using the bathroom or I was doing I was doing something there, and then I had to go up to them. But while they were getting a security guard for me to go up. Nick and Chris were just chilling there talking to the venue security. Now you can go. Okay, so basically we were split up and a meet and greet was about to start. So Matt had to get to us. But in the meantime, this guy who worked at the venue that already told us not to use the bathroom on the third third floor. The third, third floor. Not to use the bathroom on the third floor because the third <laughs> floor was haunted with spooky ghosts. <laughs> he basically said, don't use the bathroom on the third floor because it's scary. And so we were all like, you're crazy. And then afterwards, and then we ended up on he, the third floor yeah, we with ended him up on because the third our meet and greets were on the, the third floor. Green, and he was bringing shit from the basement to the third floor because the third floor was a bar, but the basement was the storage. The storage. So he was bringing drinks so all then, the way up. So he comes up to me and Chris before the meet and greet starts. And me and Chris obviously were intrigued by him telling us the place was haunted. So while we're waiting for Matt, he to the story, Matt was not there. The guy's telling me and Chris, he's like, I don't know if you guys know, there's like this. He's like, I'm gonna tell you all about like the scary shit that goes on here. But there's basically this entity that lives here, and it's like this. And we were like, so I said when he said entity, you know the way I act. Yeah. I said you a ghost. An entity. I said a ghost. And he goes, you mean? And he, he goes, goes, no, it's not entity. a ghost. You can actually like, see him. Yeah, like, like I said, ghost, and he said, uh, uh-uh. uh, like I was wrong for yes. saying entity. I don't know what entity is, but and then he described to me and Nick. He goes, it looks like this man from this old show. Um, how to. How to Kill a Mockingbird? It's like How to Kill a Mockingbird, How to Kill a Mockingjay, something. How to Kill a Mockingbird, I think. Atticus was the dude's name. It's a book that they made into a movie, and he was like, oh, the entity looks just like Atticus from How to Kill a Mockingbird. So me and Chris were like, wow, that's wild. Like, this guy's I fucking think this crazy. dude's a lunatic. So I'm like, and oh, that's he crazy. Goes, Sometimes whatever. when I'm bringing like drinks up to the third floor bar, right when I from get to the, the top stair, he like scares me and I fell down the stairs once. Yeah, he goes, I throw shit down the stairs all the time. He was like, yeah, like accident. he was like, every time I come up the stairs, he's standing there and he scares me. And then he said that the bartender lady up on the third floor, 
like she'd be alone up there at like 2 a.m. and he'd be like downstairs like at the storage shit and he'd just hear screaming and yelling of this lady like fi- like yelling and fighting with somebody yeah but he then told she said that he could hear like just her voice like yeah. not him but he said that her- this lady and the ghost or not ghost sorry sir the entity getting like screaming matches yes. with each other. So like, Matt, now fighting, me and Nick like, are actually time. scared. But keep in mind, there's like like our fans and supporters are like like thirty feet that way. Like it's busy over there. Yeah. So we can just hardly hear this guy. All like our fans are like chattering and talking amongst each other. It was like a lot to hear, and then we were just all confused. But anyway, the fi- then Matt finally got no, up. But also with like obviously being at a show and a meet and greet. The priority is not what entity is going to come. Yes, I did. I was like, hardly I, listening. I to completely this dude. forgot about it because I knew that meet and greets were coming up, and I was like just focused on getting to myself prepared to do a meet and greet for the next hour and a half. So then Matt finally made it upstairs with a security guard. Us three are finally together, and then we meet all our fans, and they're cycling through the third floor, and then back downstairs, back downstairs, back downstairs, and then we went all the way back down, like to the first floor, our green room. We did our stage presence, and then we snuck upstairs to watch our other friends perform after we got to the yeah, third so, floor. So, so, now our, we're, so now we're back on the third floor. It's just me, Matt, Nick, and, like, manager Laura and, like, two other Maddie, people. Maddie, Brenda, and then, like, tour people. Cause, yeah, because we were hiding so we could watch our friends perform while all, like, so, like fans yeah. and like supporters. snuck us up fans so and supporters we could watch are the floor show. two on the stage, and then we were on the third watching down so that no one could see us. Anyway. And then... Matt, me and, me and Nick are up there, yes. and Matt goes, guys, I have to use the bathroom. And we're like, okay, cool. The he, third floor bathroom. I said, the third I have floor to use scary, the, spooky I have to bathroom. Use the bathroom. And then the, the security dude goes, okay, like we were told not to use the bathroom up here, or that you guys didn't want to use the bathroom up here. So Because apparently they were they like, said- You could like, go oh. in the bathroom, like it was fully functioning, but they but told they were, people oh, like, not to go to it. Yeah, so, so Matt, me and Matt were sitting there. I don't know where you were. No, hold on. But Matt, you're skip, you're jumping. Nick. I'm not. You're jumping. I'm about to say so, you just said you had to go to the bathroom. That was it. I said I said I had to go to the bathroom. And oh. then the security dude, the security dude goes, "Okay, I can't bring you back down to your green room. So you're gonna you have, gotta use the you third gotta floor. use the third floor because he one. couldn't cut through the second floor because the second floor was where all of our fans, fans and were, and and the show was happening. Yes. yes. So I go to the bathroom. On, or I, okay, so I walk down the hallway where we just were for the. Because I remember grades. you told me. Yes. So we wa- I walk down the hallway to go to the bathroom. So it's like. A bar, and then the... I feel like so sorry to interrupt you. So sorry to interrupt you. I feel like this is this part is more engaging if they don't know what happened to you when you went to the bathroom. Like if you just talk from my perspective, what you told me, because that's the shit that was crazy. I can't. What are you talking like, about? Basically, like from my perspective of what happened, Matt literally said to me, he goes, "Oh, I have to use the bathroom," and then that was it. And then the security guard walked him over. And then when Matt came back, I go back and I go. Some weird ass dude was sitting at the bar in there. And I said, Wow, that's fucking weird and crazy. And then me and no, we looked and I'm like, I don't see anybody. And yeah. he's like, Oh, and I, that, and I go, was... Matt, do you see him? Cause and he's like, No, I have no idea where I'm like, And me and Chris went. forgot about the like, conversation. Like we forgot about the earlier. entity thing, dude. I go And then me and Nick were also terrified to Google how this Atticus dude looked because we didn't want to search it up while we were in the no, venue. I remember me and Chris had a full conversation. I was like, Chris, should we Google him? And I was like, and Chris no, goes, bro. no, because I was if, like, not while we're here. Because yeah. if I see some dude that looks like this, I'm gonna get fucking scared. Yeah. So and me I and up, Chris like, were like fully like, let's wait till we're back on the bus. So then we, we get forgot on the, about it. So then we finally like the show wraps up and we get on the bus. This is like hours later. Like Six hours later, and Nick randomly go. Oh no, Laura said some shit like, "Oh, do you guys like? Did anybody use the haunted bathroom like as a joke?" And and then me and Nick were like, "Oh my, oh god, my god, we should Google what that guy looked yeah. like." Now that we're leaving the venue, it was like legit. We were like, a and state Matt is over. Matt's in the bathroom of the fucking no, bus again. No, I was or just you were in your bunk. bunk. And then so then me and Nick like search up the guy Atticus, and we're and it looks like it looks like a regular dude in like a suit and tie. Like he just looked like an average dude. And I remember and it was then, on my phone, and Matt came up. No, to we me. started showing everybody, and like, oh my god, like this is apparently this scary guy. Matt gets up out of the bunk and walks into the room and goes, "Oh, y'all took a photo with the guy at the bar." I almost shit my fucking pants because I googled him, and he was on my phone. And Matt goes, "No," because the thing was that scared the ab- ever living fuck out of me. Was Matt looked at me and he goes, "Where'd you get that photo of the poor guy? Like way I said, no, younger. Like here, why do you have a photo of that guy when he was younger?" I said, "What, Matt?" Yeah. And he goes, "I saw that guy today, but he looked twenty years older than that." And then so Matt saw this fucking entity thing when he I went just, to the bathroom. I was dude, really, I'm okay, look, I was really confused. Okay, I'm now it, I gotta say this from my perspective, dude. I'm getting so, like the chills. Dude. I said, I said to, the, I said to the security dude, I said, "I gotta go to the bathroom," and then he goes. All right, yeah, I'll walk you to the bathroom. So 
when when we were we were, where we were watching from like the above stage, you, there's a staircase that goes up to the third floor, and then behind the staircase is the bu- the bar, and then behind the bar is the bathroom. So he normally our security walks us all the way to the bathroom because they're like. We want to make sure you're safe all the way there. So I'm going to let they walk us to like the, and they stand in front of the door of the bathroom. But since we were on the third floor and there was nothing else, like there was no way of anyone getting on the third floor other than that staircase. And he, like tour employees. Yeah, yeah. He was like, I'm just going to stand at this staircase because this is, that's all he had to watch. Yeah. For just, no one, no, no one, one can come make no Matt one, unsafe. Yeah, nobody can go to the, the bathroom, the bar out. or anything if he's blocking the only staircase up. So he's like, I'm just going to wait at the staircase. You're good to go. I said, okay, bet. So I walk. I walk through the bar and I go to the bathroom. And as I walk through the bar, just some dude in a suit. And my first thought was, that's weird as fuck. This dude is overdressed. But he's just drinking at the bar. I don't think anything of it because there's there was a bar on the second floor and the third. But parents are allowed to drink. Parents, and the rarity of some fans being tr- plus 21, are allowed to drink at the bars. And a lot of the parents, when the bars were separate, from the actual show at venues, they'd go and sit at the bar and leave their kid in the yeah. in the venue like but during the, the stage. The third floor bar so, wasn't actually in service. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't in service, which was one thing. And we since me, Nick, and Chris were upstairs, nobody nobody allow, else was allowed to be on that on that um floor. So I was just like, okay, it's weird that this dude's overdressed, and it's weird that they let one fan's dad upstairs, but in my head, in my head, I'm just like, okay, he just didn't want to deal with the big crowd, so he's just drinking up here alone. So I go, I pee, I walk out, he's still there, sitting there like this. Walk by him, I go, weird, I go up to Nick, and I go, weird ass dude in there, with a suit on. Uh, did I don't even think I said I forget with a what suit. Matt said, he was like, I said, no, I, I had asked Matt, because like, we were joking around because we had security going everywhere, just because of how like overwhelming of like a tour is, because there's people who know you everywhere. And I was joking around with Matt, and I was like, "Oh, are you safe? Because like, yeah, the security walking to the bathroom when you're like completely alone doesn't really matter." Yeah. So we were like jokingly like, and "Oh, I was are you like, safe?" I was like, and he yeah, was like, "Yeah, there was just some weird." I was like, "I'm at fine." The bar. Weird. I said, "Weird ass dude drinking over there, though." And he was like, "Oh, whatever." Blah blah blah. And so me, it was just the scariest part of the whole story is the fact that we all forgot. You were never a part of any of the conversations about the no. guy. Had no clue. And we didn't piece it together till we were w- long yeah. gone. So so Nick Nick. He pulls up the picture of this dude on the bus six hours later, and I, I, I think I was taking a nap in my bunk, and I wake up, walk out, take a look at the picture. And no one's talking either. Me and Nick are just, like, looking at this photo. And, Matt, and I said, and I Matt said, goes, oh, that's the dude I from said, the that's bar. that's the dude from the bar. When did you take a picture of him? But I was confused because it looked like the dude from the bar, but, like, way younger. Because the dude at the bar had, like, a full, like, beard going, but he had, like, the same, like... Ba- like facial structure. I remember structure when Matt and, like, told me that I fell over. to my knees in the bus. Yeah, like, no, said, I was terrified. How'd you take a photo of the guy, but like way younger? But like, then like, I'm pretty sure you had you had like a picture from the movie, which was like in black, in black and, and white. white. So I was like very confused on. I thought you. I I was like, oh, there's no way he took a picture of him and like edited. I it. said it has to be a picture of him way younger because the dude could have been the dude that I saw at the bar could have been alive and looked like that when black and white shit was going on yeah you know what i mean that's like i'm like terrified so like and the guy not to mention from the same venue said that like people have died there like there was like shootouts at the bar there was like a knife like fight you said it used like, to be, like a cowboy bar like people used to just like go I didn't there know and, all like, that yeah, yeah. Now. that's crazy like i remember that but, no yeah that's really and it. like the bar the waiter lady her like she said that like her son died up there or some uh-huh. shit yeah no the, I, re- I just remember hearing i remember, I remember that. you guys telling me after that the dude said that hella people have quit because yeah. because of shit like that. But also, I remember that there was that wasn't even the whole thing as well. Like there were so many scenarios where I remember like during our actual show at some point, or, like our meet and greet, um, the guy went downstairs to get more beers to bring to the third floor bar, and he got locked in the room with the beers. Yeah, like Laura. One had of the to unlock scary the things was how weird the actual dude was too. Because, yeah. like, he would get, like, the he drink. He was so nice, he but was I think nice. he was just, like, scary. But I think he was just, like, I think he, like, just had dealt with this ghost for too long. But, yeah. Like, he would get to the top of the stairs with, like, what he was carrying, and he'd, like, cover his eyes like this as he's, like, carrying it up because he didn't want to, like, look at it He didn't want to see the, the ghost. Eye. Like, he I'm was like, just talking about it so calm, and it's, like, that was the scary part, too, and what made him seem crazy is it's, like, when you're talking about ghosts, you're, like, talking about, like, imaginary. You know what I mean? This dude was This guy was real. talking to us, like, fact, like, 
oh, like, if you come upstairs, like, don't look up until you've got to the top step and then taken four steps forward. I remember he told me I that. I don't know how I didn't get this rundown. Well, because you, you were downstairs. downstairs. But, like, because he wasn't, he also, there was also when you're touring with, like, the volume that we are, there's, like, a team of tour people that were touring with us that were at every single venue that, like, we got to know. But then there was tour staff that just worked at the venues. So sometimes there's people that are working, like, for the tour that are just employees of the venue. And he was one of those guys that we never really got to talk to. It was just we he couldn't just get downstairs that to go eat. So that was the only reason we, like, actually had a conversation. And he was, like, a super outgoing guy. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of the people that were working were, like, they were just doing their job and, like, that was it. But he wanted to talk to us and, like, get to know us. There's a couple people who worked at different venues that were just, like, super just outgoing, wanted to know, like, what was going on at their place of work. Because there were sometimes people that, like, after our show was over and everything, it, like, and they worked at just the venue, they were like, what do y'all do? Like, why are you here? Like, asking why we just put on a show. Yeah, and I, re- and, like, they, I remember... There were so many people who just didn't New know Jersey what we did. New Jersey show, we took, a, we took a picture with the venue owner because his daughter was a fan, which was yeah. cool. Yeah, I love shit like that. Yeah. I love when, like, the security guard, like, knows us or, like, their daughter does. Yeah, because then like, they actually do their job better, too. That is true. Yeah. Because then they, like, feel like they're, like, you know what A I part mean? of it. Yeah. yeah. I love, like, dude, I always felt bad. Like, that's, like, actually the most emotional part is, like, leaving a venue, like, security guard I like. Like, I was like, thank you for keeping me safe today, bro. I appreciate it. Like, anytime, man. Anytime. And then they leave, and I'm yeah. like, oh, I like, wish. Say, is there... Yeah, anytime, all bro. secure. It's, it's always the, like, big security guards that I'm, like, yeah. I really fuck with. They're, like, eight and feet tall. Also, like, yeah. before, before we go on tour again, some of the things that I just want to talk about is, like, the... Like, we all wish that meet and greets could be longer. You know, like, I just want to make that a blanket statement of, like, if I had the eight hours to talk to every single person, I would 100% if, if do all it. the fans were from L.A. and, like, I could, like, go and, like, do meet and greets, like, at least, like, once a week, twice a week, I'd go, yeah, like, sit like, there I'd for an hour. Yeah, I'd pick a day where I could people. go do meet and greets and talk to people, like, all the time. But it's just, like, with the volume of fans that we have, it's, like, such an amazing problem to have is not having enough time. You know what I mean? Because, like, we really... But, like, you also guys had to think, like, we're going on an entire tour and meeting so many different people at so many different shows that it's, like, I I enjoy doing it so, so, so much. But it just, like, I also want, if I'm going to meet someone, to have, like, an authentic interaction with me where sometimes I feel like it was getting too long and, like, I'm, like, tripping. Like, I've been standing still for, like, an hour. My eyes are getting wonky. I like wonky, meeting fans like, when it's, like, real, like, real shit. Like, yeah. real genuine stories, real life. Like, oh, this, I, like, appreciated when you did this, blah, yeah. blah, blah. Like, shit like that where it's just, like, okay. Like, real human interaction. Yeah. That's what but I love. But with that being said, I am so excited for meeting greets. So excited for Small Talk. So excited for our actual show this time. Because we, we put a lot more thought into our show as opposed to, like, us three doing a Q&A. Um, I love doing q and A Q&A last time, but I feel like this time around is just going to be unreal. I'm really excited. I feel like just the team aspect and like knowing how much our fans like love like the inside joke of like I'm what, ready to like, see the half because like bro like blue and the orange. team triplet like team yeah. like team Matt team Nick team Chris has been a thing since the start of our career uh-huh. and just so like like just how it's like so oh it's going to be so real like in the yeah. shit. I'm struggling to pick a side. Don't Why'd you know, say yeah, it like, like that? Weirdo. It's like what fucking... else is also so crazy that was so funny to me is like because there's so many different like venues, like people know that like so many people traveled to where we were traveling. Sorry, I don't know if this makes sense. But like when we were in San Antonio, for example, there was a bunch of people that traveled to San Antonio for our show. That like when we were out going out to eat. Like, the odds on there being fans, like, the restaurant we go to are so high. Dude, I remember so like, eating and some girl sat down next to us with, like, a Let's Trip shirt. I'm yeah, because like, it's, like, there's so many people that are about to go to our show, like, the next day or that day. That it's, like, it's so easy to, like, bump into us if you go to, like, a local restaurant. Closing a car of fans. I'm going to do it. When we were uh, in Ohio, I think it was Ohio, but the where we, had the, where we were doing the small talks right outside the venue... There were three windows, and you could see through the windows. So the people in the line and, like, outside waiting to get into the show could see us doing the small talks through the window, and, like, people driving by could see us and stuff. And one of the fans at the Ohio show was looking at us inside of the inside of the venue and literally got into a car accident because she wasn't paying attention. And then she to the told road. us, didn't she? And then she no, came no, she came up to us after they and was all, like, Yo. everybody in the car had backstage passes. So they I think they gave them backstage passes because they got in a car accident. Yeah, like they missed 
there. Which don't on no, purpose no, 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 no. get into a car accident they, to try and get back they to They miss like their they meet and their small, talk. And small talk because their car was. We're very lenient creators too. Like we go out of our way for. But like, don't try yeah, some shit. Don't don't purposely don't, get yes. in a car accident, please, God forbid, and don't yes, lie about it. it. For real, seriously. But, so these girls got into a car accident. The police had to show up, fire trucks, all of that stuff, and. They were just laughing. I mean, it's they thought like it was I said, "How are you getting backstage?" Home? Yeah, it was. It, that was a fun. That was like the funniest fan conversation I ever had. Because like, I, for me, it was funny because they were they were just telling me all this shit about how their like car was totaled and everything. Uh-huh. But they were happy that like we were we there. were together. So they were like smiling. Like I just totaled, totaled my, my car. car looking at you, and I was like, "Holy shit! How are you like this excited right Dude, now?" Dude, I feel like there's more scary stories. Dude. The haunted, the fucking haunted hotel was actually. Uh, it's like I genuinely like. Also, while we were just talking about that story, I felt the most fear I've ever felt in my <laughs> yeah, life. No. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Like I felt chills and goosebumps talking no, about yeah, it. For like sure. I, the haunted hotel was scary as shit. Like that, just like dude, they, dude. I, I love no, no, no. the shit that scared. I think we have me. more Hold footage, on. just like not on our cameras and shit. The shit that scared the like, memo fuck out of me leaving um Texas was that was where the most haunted hotel in the world was or whatever that we were like we did the whole vlog at i think we should go again one of the employees literally said don't let it follow you out oh and i literally (laughs) remember being like why did you just say that sentence to me i literally remember being like they were like just make sure like if you're gonna sleep on the bus or like leave the hotel make sure when you leave like you you don't have the hotel door open and the bus door open at the same time so it doesn't follow you state to state and he was dead serious. They were dead serious. I was like, you're out of your fucking mind if you think this is like... Dude, being... It's crazy that we had a hotel to stay at, which is rare it, on a tour. Bro, it's, I wouldn't even shower. I was scared to go in and take a shit. It's crazy how I was scared nonchalant to change. these people say this shit. Oh my god, I was terrified. But, oh yeah, just make sure so that the demons don't follow you. Just keep that one shut when that one's open. Y'all saw the video. Y'all saw the vlog. It was the scariest moment of my life, honestly. I like, was like... Not even... Not even buttering it up what for did, the video, like the scariest moment what of my did they life. Say? I cannot believe what Matt just said. What Matt? Don't let it follow you. No, out. not you that. Serious? Shut up. They said, "Don't let it follow you show to show." I vividly remember that, dude. There was a there was another scary thing. How fast I put down that Bucky's pulled pork sandwich. That was, was scary. frightening. That was but very no, there's scary. actually a scary thing. There, there was something else we're missing. I think there were some scary ass venues, bro. Like, it was just horrifying. Watch me. Oh, then... Laura and Brenda switched the hotel room they had because of blood stains. Did you know ah! that? Ask Laura. Swear to God. Swear on my life. I, actually, I'm That's gonna ask crazy. her because if it's true, I'm, we're keeping it in. But I recall her saying that. No, to me. I remember half of the tour. There were people on our tour, like on our team, that were like, "Oh, I'm staying in the hotel. Like, I want to be fucking Mister and Mrs. Big Shot." And they had oh? to. They had to. They had to get a different hotel. Yeah, because they said that like, they were in pain and shit. That's crazy. Yeah. I feel like it's only it's a mind game. Like if you let them go. Oh, you know? Have you heard that one story about Joey King? She's she was no, the, she's the actress. She remember Bullet Train? The oh yeah, girl yeah, in all yeah, pink? yeah. That's Joey King. No, I I know she who was she is. In I don't know it. The story she acted when she was younger. I don't know if it was like one of her first roles. I'm not gonna act like I know Joey King's whole life like this. But she was in one of the Conjuring movies, and like fully was like passing out on set or something. I Google this or hear it from her awards because I don't know mm-hmm. if I'm saying it completely correct. Mm-hmm. But she had like some sort of issue and like went to the hospital or something and they she like con- like they were like oh like your blood is like something with like get out of here something with like like something was genuinely wrong with get her get out of here bro and that's then, cause you're fucking with the devil I don't fuck with the devil no and then like a week later like she was these fine. people are weird or, like no. she had never had like existing get out of here we have to google it no we don't have to but I it's trivia time with Chris who what artists and uh, performers have the biggest tour like in salary Taylor like, Swift I was gonna say that wrong I feel like you had an old stat. Nope, man. I don't old have an old stat. stat. Old stat. Old nope. stat. Old stat alert. Did you not hear well, the she's on tour ticket. right now. Shut the fuck up. It doesn't count. Like, oh, it right now doesn't count? Not, okay, do like last year. Harry he, Styles. He's number four. What? He did like the 10 I night feel like thing. $590 million. Ah! <laughs> Why are you? And then, I feel I like Morgan even, Wallen. What, like what? No, bro. El- He's like Elton John. Ooh. Okay. Guess how much money this dude made in one tour. He got to buy some sunglasses. Let's hear it. See, with five- $939 million. Why are you not going on as many tours ever? First of all, you get the experience of sharing your music to all of these people. Ed Sheeran, making- top three. Oh, oh I could have I got my boy. Ed. I could have got $776 million. Dollars. You. 
You push, push and pull, pull like, like a magnet, magnet too. Ah, uh, that's crazy. Okay, that who's it? number one? That's no Elton John, Ed Sheeran. This band called U two. Oh yes, mom and dad would be like li- living right now. Yeah, and then Harry that. Styles. Okay, okay. And there's a full list, but I'm not Taylor Swift. Dude, she probably is, bro. This is top four. No, that list is old. I don't know, bro. That list is old. I know that the Eras Tour is outselling all those. Ed Sheeran is like the most streamed artist in the world, I'm pretty sure. Ed's yeah. fucking it up, for sure. I love Ed. Ed's going crazy. He should come on the podcast. Ed, where are you at? Come on, Ed. Best YouTuber tours. Let's Trip Tour and Never Bailey Grow Up Levine, Tour. Never Grow Up Tour. Gotta be. Yeah. Dude, we like promo the balls off that kid because of how much we love him. Like, I, I swear to God, I've shouted, so out, much. I've shouted out Bailey like We didn't talk times. about when Matt threw merch at Memo. Oh, my God. Okay, every single show, we threw two shirts and a hoodie into the and a hat into the crowd, and Matt's bright idea I, in the no, smallest shut venue. Shut up. Smallest venue we had, the smallest stage we had. He, he said, goes, I'm going to close my eyes and throw it over the back of my head like this. Yeah, because I want to be fair, and I don't want anyone to think that I'm on purposely picking anyone. I blindly threw the shirt because I was like, I want everyone to have a fair chance and I don't want to target anyone and or like be like that guy, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I throw the shirt over or I throw the shirt over my shoulder. And Memo is dead center crowd with the big camera. Big ass camera. And it lands and it just on, on top him. of it. And from the camera angle, like Okay, you just see say, some people like say, reaching. Say the front of Okay, uh uh-uh. uh. Matt, you can't can do a see. visual, it's an audio podcast. Okay, stupid. if you're on Spotify or whatever you're watching. Imagine. It on, Pause, go to YouTube, search it no, up. No, Matt, Fast stop. forward to where you're at right now. He's going to fuck up our Spotify streams. Just shut up. Lens right here landed like that. On top of the on camera. On top of the camera. And you see the shirt so you draping get the lens, over the lens. still got everything, and these girls are just covered. hugging the fucking shit out of the shirt. And then and the camera's like rocking back and forth. And you just see it go every which direction. And I was and like. And you see some girl like this. And like, I was like. I was like. I was, like, I was, trying I was to grab like, oh. it. Like, <sighs> like that's an expensive camera. And I was like, oh, fuck. I'm going to have to pay for that. But I didn't, Kid's and an it's idiot. still good. Can't believe that. Tour 2. Anyway. I'm very excited to have more stories of Tour 2 and then eventually do a, a second tour-related podcast way down the line. When Dude, tour we have so over. many stories we could talk about. That's what I'm most excited about, honestly, for tour time again, is tour one, time. meeting fans, two, our new creative for the show, and three is the stories we're going to have to share at the end. I agree. Yep. And I want to go to all 50 states in my lifetime. And we bought a bang. I want to do a, a show more. in Honolulu, Hawaii, really bad. Did you say that? I don't know. No, I, I might just be here. I think. No, so. Anyway, that was today's episode. I had a lot of fun filming this Woo! one. Me too. I love touring. The just the idea of it's so cool. Like getting to meet your favorite people in real life, uh, and then, uh, but also for them to meet who like made helps them, them and makes them are who completely. they are. Like it's such a beautiful like. Everyone that's listening or watching, thank you so much for being here. Remember, new videos Wednesdays and Fridays as well. Podcasts on Monday, and we will see you on those days or the Let's Trip Versus Tour, depending on whether or not you buy tickets. Which so, you should, because it's going to be a lot of fun. We love you all, and we will see you in person or on the internet very soon. Oh, yes. Peace out.